Welcome to Let's Play Double Dragon with NES. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and Green. Hi. Yo! Sorry he's not the big good Double Dragon, but I don't know. It's something right. I like. Were you recording me playing this? Because I was just playing this like two hours ago. Now this one, uh, our commentary will be audible. Yeah, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I know this game wasn't nearly as good as part two. And that's probably because it's not two-player mode, which is weird. It's but this game was it's it's pretty, to me, it was still pretty fun, though. It was like okay, the but it was just okay. It has yeah. a two-player mode, it's just not at the same time. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> stupid. Unless you do the one-on-one -on -one mode, which you can only fight the same character. Yeah, so you fight each other. Yeah, all right. Mission one. Oh yeah, and I am using ECW mode. Of course, because this game is I super never, cheap. I can never beat this game. I've never beaten this game ever. The farthest I got was level three inside the walls. That was it. And I, I beat this got game by once, the but that was with. I don't know, cheaping out the computer with a lot of kicks and matching out your character at level 2 of a certain cheat. Uh, yeah. But other than that, no, I didn't like this version, especially compared to the arcade original. Yeah. They As just took so much stuff out. Um, what's it called? To explain, uh, I beat this, but I beat this using the two-player mode. If that makes ah. sense. Yeah, I tried to do that in Double Dragon 2 also. What, have one person, two controllers? Yeah, well, like, why aren't we about to die? Hit start, oh, second player? Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah, I did that too. Well, I did that for a lot of games that did that. Yeah. Oh. Love the soundtrack in this game. It's okay. Yeah. It sounds a bit too cartoony, though. I'm fine with cartoony, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is 8-bit. 1987-88, so of course, back then, that was cool. I think the weirdest thing about this game compared to the arcade is the fact that you don't have the all your moves from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about the level up until really I seen Skip Rogers read this game, so Skip's tips actually helped me out. <laughs> yeah, um, my first time playing this one, I actually bought it earlier this year. Um, I game over trying to do the headbutt, which you don't actually start with. I think you have to level up twice to get the headbutt. Hmm. ECW? Uh, not really. Not when you, you know, lose three lives over it. But this is ECW right here. Isn't that instant death? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No, you're alive. Well, there is Our a section up there... <laughs> Well, there is something up there in a bubble of big adventure. A much better right, so team, now we get ready to... Speaking of a bubble, we'll get ready to fight him here in a minute. I, I hope you kick him down the garbage chute over there. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Take your bets. Got him. Three points. Yeah. Oh, man. Imagine the level up system... You had to do that with the point system from like Ninja Turtles, where everything was one point. Oh. I think that would make this game even worse. Well, how about where everything is in one point, like like in Desert Bus? Um, well, Desert Bus, you get points faster than Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, you have to kill stuff. <laughs> really, Desert Bus? <laughs> He wanted a reason. Doesn't it take 12 hours to get a point? I think so, yeah. I don't remember. Alright, so, mission two right her. The factory, whatever this level is. Can't you? Oh, and the ball just has appeared. Oh. I hate about this double dragon. Yeah. You can only fight the same enemy per screen. Like, you can yeah. have different types of enemies. Like, you're always find the Williams, or you're always find the Willies, or stuff like that. There can't be yeah. two different enemies on the screen at once. Um, for those of you who remember, we did a low-budget review of the arcade game a while back, back in 2008, I think. Me, Venom, and Angel, I think, and the unknown. Yeah, I remember that. That was great. Not fair! I wasn't there! 
I wanted to play. We first. didn't know. We didn't even know you yet. <laughs> I wanted to see the good I even, one. I, I the even good beat you dragon. yet. Oh. Plus, that was back when I was using the TV screen instead of the screen capture you see right now. So uh, when's uh, Super Dopey Dragon? You know what? 1992. I'm yeah, I barely played that game. I should do it. Let's check out that. It's not it's too bad. Hard. It's just super slow. That's really it. Yeah. Oh, hey, here's the twins from Street Race 3. Except you yeah, kind of the second them. boss. Yeah. Mona and Lisa. Lisa. I think, uh, actually I sh should say, when I play Street Race 3, it's the twins from Double Dragon 1, because this came, game came out first. Oh, I sure did. I, I love the, the stage music right here. I remember in fourth grade, being in class, uh, just daydreaming about this music, because I played the game the night before. Good oh, time. now you gotta fight Charles Bronson. I guess he has a death wish. Throw him off the stage. Kick him off the screen, actually. The left side. It'll be funny. <laughs> now, now, whoop this mop head. I don't know if that wish... actually works, though. I wish you could do the knee, where you, you jump kick and it'll... <laughs> you mean the, the screen. thing that does, like, 30 damage for no reason? Yeah, the tiger knee. Yes, good times. Wasn't that Double Dragon 2? Yeah, I was oh, saying, I wish you could do that on here. <laughs> Oops. And that's the end of part one. We see in part two where that's the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. But I should be able to get further because I have ECW mode. <laughs> so until then, God bless and take care. Peace out. Double troubles, Wayne, yeah. <laughs>